readers, I'm Liz and today we're reading Shiver by Maggie Steve Otter. Steve Otter? I'm pretty sure. I hope, I really hope that's the way she pronounces it because I feel really bad every time I pronounce it wrong because my last name is Valish and every time somebody says Valish it kind of makes me die a little inside and so I'm sorry if I keep pronouncing that wrong. But yeah. This book is about a girl named Grace and when she was really little she got bitten by a wolf or a werewolf and um, she like survives it and everything. So then she starts this fascination with wolves. She kind of has this reputation of being like the wolf girl or something like that. There's this kid named Jack who decides that he's going to go into the woods and I guess like hunt these wolves but they end up attacking him and so the community is all up in an uproar and they decide to go into the woods and act like crazy hunter people and shoot at wolves. And because these guys are going to the woods, um, Grace actually gets to meet her wolf, the wolf that saved her when she was younger. His name is Sam and um, she gets to meet him in human form because he gets shot and he turns into a human. And nobody really knows why he turned into a human, but he does. And so like the whole book is kind of like her helping him um, not turn into a werewolf again, kind of, um, and trying to keep him warm because in in the series, the werewolves, they turn into wolves when they, um, when, when it's cold outside. And so it's not just like, oh, when the moon is out, it's actually like when it gets cold, when it's in the colder months, and then in the summer, or when it gets warm again, they turn into people. It's kind of like how dogs... I also like the main character. I thought that she was, like, strong, but it wasn't, like, stereotypical, and it wasn't like, uh, she's just you know, being a butthead. She was actually like a very like strong-willed person, but at the same time she was just like, let's help these people and let's help the wolves. Um, and she actually like, I guess she seemed to have like understood things a lot better than Sam, even though he knew a lot of like the backstory. She was just like, okay, I'm gonna do the right thing. Grace kind of brought all like two, the two worlds together of like humans and werewolves. And so um, she kind of like, helped everything make sense. I liked all the characters in this book. I like how like you've just felt all of their like emotions. Everybody from Sam to Grace to Jack to Isabel to like Olivia. I almost thought Rachel was an unnecessary character but it kind of shows how like some people just aren't bothered by the things around them. They're like okay whatever business as usual it's not gonna bother me. As far as the writing goes I totally started like flailing nearly because I, I started reading like the first couple of chapters and I was just like this is so well written for like um, a young adult novel. It's just like so, like any novel actually. Just like scratch what I said. It's good for any novel. I thought that it was terrifically written. Just like how everything was explained and how like the story was and the plot. It's just, I just thought it was really perfect. Like honestly perfect. Along those same lines, I love the cliffhanger. I feel like it definitely set itself up for a sequel and I feel like it was just like so good. It's kind of like, um, I, I'm trying to think of a good cliffhanger for a show or whatever, but like, it just like, it gave you a good stopping point and a, a good place and it just like, it just like, ah, I don't know what exactly to say about it, but it was just like, it makes you want to read the next book. And I haven't read it yet, but I will, I promise. And um, apparently the third one's coming out very, very soon, but yeah, I'm trying to get those read and that will be awesome because I really liked the series. I thought that I wouldn't like it. I thought that it was just gonna be like another YA novel where a girl falls in love with a mystical creature. And I'm glad that it wasn't. I'm glad. And I definitely give it a five out of five. Like definitely. Like there was nothing wrong with this book at all. Like if you don't like this book, it's probably because you don't like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. So overall, I thought it was a good book. Five out of five stars. It's amazing. Yep. So I hope you have a great day and keep reading.